Hello, this is a how-to video for IXL K16, Understand Fractions as Division. This is actually a skill you've done several times in Simple Solutions lessons. It's the idea that a fraction is another way to write a division problem. Now, whenever you start an IXL, they provide a very handy tool, and it's called Learn with an Example. So I'm going to click on that button right here in the center of the page and scroll down and see what they suggest for thinking about these problems. Here's their question. Zachary's Art Club ordered a giant sub sandwich for a party. It was six feet long. When the sandwich arrived, Zachary cut it into 16 equal pieces. How long was each piece? Write your answer as a proper fraction or mixed number. Now, here's what they suggest we do. First, Start by listing the information given in the problem. They tell us the sandwich was six feet long and that the sandwich was divided into 16 pieces. So in this case, we have something that is six feet long and it's getting divided into 16 pieces. This is a six divided by 16 problem. That is the same as the fraction six sixteenths. Now, I would even go further and say, simplify that fraction because you know we could divide six and 16 by two halves and we would get three eighths. But it looks like you can put the unsimplified version of the fraction in and still get it correct. So that makes this even easier. Now, let's go back to the practice page and do a few together. Here's our first one. Mr. Maynard's class is taking a field trip to a science museum. They will be at the museum for three hours and they want to divide their time evenly among the 10 exhibits. How much time should they spend at each exhibit? Okay, so let's think about the information we have. They're going to be at the museum three hours and they're going to divide that time evenly among 10 exhibits. So this sounds like it is a three divided by 10 problem. I know that three divided by 10 is the same as the fraction three tenths. My numerator three is the same as the divide, I'm sorry, the dividend, what's getting divided up. My denominator 10 is the same as the divisor. So how many equal groups I'm dividing something into. So I'm going to go ahead and put in three tenths. And that is correct. Now I've jumped ahead a few levels and let's take a look at some of the problems that we're getting now. So here's our next problem. Sean went blueberry picking along a three mile walking path. He picked blueberries steadily along the walk. When he finished, he had collected 50 ounces of blueberries. How many ounces of blueberries did Sean pick each mile? Okay, so let's think about the information we have. This walking path was three miles long. And we know that on this three mile walking path, he picked 50 ounces of blueberries. We wanna know how many ounces of blueberries Sean picked each mile. So what are we dividing up? We're dividing up those ounces of blueberries because we want to know how many of those ounces of blueberries Sean picked for each mile. This is a 50 divided by three problem. I know the division problem 50 divided by three is the same as the fraction 50 thirds. Remember the dividend is our numerator in the fraction and the divisor is our denominator. Now of course 50 thirds is an improper fraction so I would need to change that into a mixed number. To change an improper fraction to a mixed number I'm going to divide the numerator by the denominator so I'm doing 50 divided by 3. I know three goes into those five tens one time. One times three is three. 
Five take away three would be two leftover tens. And that's the same as having 21. So when I bring down the zero in the ones column, now I have my 21s. 20 divided by three would be six. Three times six is 18. 20 take away 18 would be two. And then I want to write my remainder as a fraction. So it would be two of those leftover thirds. So my answer here would be 16 and two thirds. Let's do one more. And remember the key here is you need to make sure you understand what is getting divided and how many groups it's getting divided into. So let's look at our next problem. Mrs. Smith's class constructed a model of a skyscraper. The model had four equal sections that stacked on top of each other. When the class was finished building the model, it was five feet tall. How tall was each section of the model skyscraper? Okay, so if there are four equal sections that make up that five foot tall skyscraper, if I want to know how long each section was, I'm going to have to take that five feet and divide it by four. That would be the fraction five fourths. We know five divided by four is the same as five fourths. Now, this is an improper fraction, so of course we change it into a mixed number. One and one fourth would be our answer and we type that in. Now, while I'm typing that in, I want to point out to, out to you, we do not always know that the bigger number is going to be our dividend and the smaller number is going to be our divisor. It totally depends on the situation. You have to, have to understand the problem. You have to think, what is getting divided up? That number would be the numerator. How many groups is it getting divided into? Or what would the equal size of each of the groups be? That number would be the denominator. Okay, that is the key to this skill. So good luck and um, continue to rewatch this video if you have questions or go back to watch the lesson with the exit ticket from yesterday. That was 12.1.2.